Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start this. I am going to start doing um, sort of like a video diary of how I got to the place that I am today. Um, starting with my past. Um, I kind of, I kind of grew up hard just like every other kid I knew. Um, I didn't have the greatest parents. I didn't have a support system. And I definitely didn't have a real example of how to love someone. So, um, basically, I left home at 16. I moved all the way from Missouri to Texas with a guy that I barely knew. Um, turns out I was not capable of loving him the way he deserved to be loved. So... Obviously, I broke his heart, and that's something I have to live with every single day. Um, so anyways, in the midst of all that, I got involved with drugs. I started doing meth and ecstasy and painkillers and Xanax and, I mean, everything you can think of. I was just totally lost. And I did this so much that I ruined our relationship. Um... And then I would get better for a little bit at a time, and then I'd just go straight back to it. Um, let me think. And then, you know, I, it just got worse and worse and worse. And then I had my son Noah, and everything was going great. Um, I, came, I went back to Missouri at one point, and I came back to Texas. This happened several times. Um, when I came back, I desperately wanted to fix the relationship that I had broken with Noah's dad, but he was just beyond hurt, so he, he just couldn't, he couldn't do it, and I didn't understand that, and it just killed me, so eventually I just, I went back to drugs, obviously, um, ended up losing custody of my son, because I had, um, I've been shooting up drugs, meth, and, uh, someone called CPS on me, and they, they were right too. I hated them at the time for it, but today I'm thankful because it saved my son a lot of heartache seeing his mother like that, and, you know, now he has... A really good life with his dad, and he still lives with his dad. And you know, I I didn't get to see him for a while, but I do now, and that is what I'm thankful for. Um, about four years ago, uh, my birthday, I was living with my sister, and um, just all of a sudden we decided we were going to church. At Stonewater Church in Granbury. And so we went. And I wasn't really expecting much that day. I just, you know, I just had one to go to church. But during worship service, I don't know. I don't, I can't even tell you what happened. God just took over. I mean, in the middle of a song, I just broke down. I started crying. And I mean, I was sobbing. And I just had my hands in the air. And I was singing and crying. And at the end of service, I tried to go to the pastor and talk to him, and I wanted to be saved, which I'm pretty sure God already had hold of me, so I don't know, I was pretty good at that point. Um, but when I went to talk to the pastor, uh, his name's Jeremy, I, I couldn't even speak. I was just sobbing and sobbing and sobbing, and it was just, it was unbelievable. I can't even explain it. But after that day, I mean, my life has been different. God really reached in and he grabbed a hold of me. And I mean, I am living proof that God saves lives. God will take a messenger, turn it into a message. I mean, and you don't, you will not see it coming. You have no clue. It's the craziest thing, but it's like the biggest blessing you will ever, ever get. Just opening up your heart to God. 
so my advice to people is just have an open mind, you know, don't, don't be so close minded about God because God loves you. God loves all of us and he wants us to open up and let him in. And when you do that, I mean, your life is going to turn around all, I mean, completely. I mean, things are going to start getting better and better and better and better. I mean, today for me, I'm married. I have another son. Um, I mean, we're doing great. I mean, we're not perfect. I'll never be perfect. I struggle every single day. You know, I fall short all the time, like constantly. I will never, ever be perfect and neither will you. But that's something we have to just own and we have to keep trying no matter what. Even though we know that we're not going to ever be perfect, we still have to keep trying. Um, you know, sobriety is, is not easy. I mean, with the world that we live in today, it's, drugs are everywhere, and temptation is everywhere. I mean, I mean, you could just, food is an addiction, video games, um, alcohol, drugs, everything can be, anything in excess can be an addiction and can be sinful. So we have to watch out for ourselves. We have to do things in moderation, and we have to steer clear of people who tempt us or things that tempt us. Um, and we have to reach out to people and talk to positive people. Um, so this is why I'm making this page. <clears throat> I want to help people come to know the life that I found in God. So, I mean, my name's Candace, by the way. I'm the admin of Addicts, Helping Addicts. Um, and I'm here if you ever have any questions, if you ever need to talk 24-7, just let me know. Um, I'd be happy to share any of my story with you, um, talk to you about anything you want, you know, I mean, I can pretty much relate to anything, and if I can't, I know someone who can, so thanks for liking my page, and, um, go ahead and share it with your friends, thanks for listening.